Hi everybody and welcome to the Neoload Silverlight demo, or demo as we have it there. <laughs> so Neoload is going to allow you to test the performance of Microsoft RA technologies. And Silverlight can use several protocols and its exchanges with the server, but the real challenge lies in understanding the binary XML. So using the Neoload Silverlight module, you can record and playback Silverlight requests, convert the binary exchanges into XML to make scenario design easier, and ultimately you're going to be able to test more efficiently. So Neoload sits between the browser and the server, capturing Silverlight requests coming from the browser and the Silverlight requests going from the server back to the browser. And then during the test, Neoload's load generators are going to replicate the Silverlight requests and then validate the Silverlight responses coming back to the server. So we're going to go ahead and record a scenario. We'll start our recording and name our virtual user and create our container. And click to the home page. And then we're going to use an online bike store as an example. And first we're going to search for products in a particular category. So we'll go ahead and make a search container and make our search. So we're going to select the first item to see it in more detail. and then we're going to stop the recording here. So the Silverlight module decodes the client-server exchanges and now we're going to see what happens in Neoload. So there the icon is different. It indicates the Silverlight data flow. So using the module this flow is converted into XML the data is comprehensible and editable. And without the module, the data flow cannot be decoded and it's impossible to understand. So we're going to change the search that we made during our recording. So we'll go into our search. So here's the parameter containing the searched for category. So to make things a little bit more realistic, we're going to use a different search criteria, and we'll edit the following request to select the corresponding item. So we'll go ahead and add a new variable, and we'll make it a list variable. We'll rename it, and then we'll add our values. So now we're going to insert the variable. There we go, we'll just insert it there. So now we're going to extract the item returned as a result of the search from the server response. We're going to go into advanced. And we'll add our variable extractor. So we'll do this extraction from an XML node. So we'll just go ahead and then complete that extraction. Select the starting value and then the ending value. And now the item is extracted. So now we're going to insert the variable title into the second Silverlight request. So here's the item that was selected during the recording. and we'll add our variable there. So now the modifications have been made, we'll validate the virtual user. And we'll start our check. And perfect, so it's validated, and now we're gonna see which category has been selected in the first request. So we're just gonna go into the variable details. And as you can see, it's no longer pumps, but pedals, and this is the criterion used for the search. And then here's the extracted variable, so the item name corresponds to the search carried out. So now we're going to make sure the item name is included in the following request. We'll go into our request details. And the name used as the parameter is the one that was returned previously.
and now we're going to check the server response. So we'll go into our response details. and the selected item tallies. And that concludes our Neoload Silverlight demonstration. Thank you for following. Please feel free to reach out if you have any questions or concerns. Thanks again.